Hi, it's Virtual One Media, and this is part two of our ribbon modeling tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll be starting to actually detail outside of the rim. So let's begin with actually hitting Alt Q to get uh, isolation mode, and uh, just capping up these right here. So select this. Just click, hit, hit, just hold control and just click on these gaps. And uh, he's, he's gonna select all around it and uh, just hit cap. Uh, so what we wanna do now is actually make a few cuts here. So let's begin with this. Actually, let's begin with the top. So rig it, connect, and uh, we just wanna get something like maybe slide a little bit down, something like minus thirty. Okay, and uh, select. Actually, let's do that. Connect in the middle. Oops, rig it. Connect in the middle. Zero slide to get like that. And uh, hold control and click on a polygon. And uh, you're gonna get this selection. And uh, extrude that out uh, by by normal. So something like this would be fine and uh, what you want to do now is actually select this edge and this edge loop them and shuffle them down so once again you want something small so 0 0.28 in my case and uh, loop it and chamfer the bottom as well by the same amount and uh, wanna chamfer these edges so loop chamfer and uh, you want chamfer a little bit more so something like 0 0.5 would do the job so once we have that if we would actually apply tables move to this one now see what we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get this quite round thing and uh, this is place where our screws will actually be so this is like that and uh, let's continue on uh, go to the Go out here and uh, add double poly. Select these two right here. Loop them. Chamfer them by the same amount of so 0.5. And uh, you want to make select this one right here and uh, this one right here. Rig, connect, and uh, just actually one at a time because not gonna work so rig connect and uh, just you wanna slide that down something like that hit ok and uh, just chamfer them by 0 0.5 uh, I'll explain why a little bit later so do the same on this side as well so rig connect uh, in this case gonna be minus 53 so just keep the same and uh, chamfer by 0 0.5 uh, now select these ones right here loop and uh, hit con hold control and select on polygon and uh, just scale them in something like so uh, once you've done that select these two loop chamfer by 0 0.5 uh, I'm just trying to keep the same chamfer settings so loop and uh, chamfer so that's what you're gonna get, you're gonna get that sort of inner thingy uh, you can do the same in the middle just to add a bit more detail so this optional you won't be able to see that anyway so just chamfer okay and uh, rig connect one segment zero slide and uh, hold control and uh, just like polygon mode and uh, you wanna extrude that in outwards so do that chamfer and uh, just increase that about something like oops hit loop and uh, chamfer something like 0 0.7 and uh, same on the other side so loop chamfer okay and uh, let's try to table smooth see what we're gonna get so there it is that's what we are getting so starting to look something like a rim uh, now let's just uh, I'm gonna apply table smoother 2 and uh, ice line the display 
and uh, exit isolation mode and see what we're gonna get. As you can see, the rim is a little bit too high, so just wanna just click Z to zoom in on that and uh, just move it down. Something like so. so. That's what you're gonna get. As you can see. Uh, just save that, save your work. Uh, now let's start working on the inside. On the inside of the rim, so just hit G to kill the grids. And uh, go to edible poly mode. You wanna rig, connect, and just make a line just out of there, something like so. That's gonna be fine. Jump for that. Do the same here, so. Oops, wrong button. We need to rig, connect. Duh, just hit OK and the jump for that again. And uh, now you don't need to actually cut, just select these two right here, loop them, and uh, go to the polygon mode. And uh, you want to scale them down. Something like so. Uh, select the top parts of it and uh, loop them. Chamfer them by 0 0.7, and the bottom parts will gonna be chamfered by. Uh, something like 0 0.5 so let's try that 0 0.5 okay that's look that looks much better uh, so if I reapply table smooth as you can see we're getting this this begins to look like actual rim so we done that uh, that's at the end of part 2 and in a third part we're gonna be making the little screws around it and uh, adding the screw holes for the nut and uh, making a nut for it so stay tuned for the second next part of the video so see you then